Hello, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So you guys are number four for the most viewed, so you guys are going to be fourth, and that's how I will be doing the readings from now on based off of most to least viewed. That's how I'll be bringing out the signs. So Gemini, you have the card Jealousy starting off here. So I am getting that there is somebody that is, I'm hearing, for some of you, they're jealous of something that they've seen, but for the majority of you, this is somebody jealous of what they are picturing. Now, this is somebody that you are in separation with that I think that, okay, so there's either one thing. You either pulled your energy back from this person or you're not talking to this person and they're wondering who are you talking to? Who are you with? Has anybody else touched you? It's very, very intimate. And this is somebody that is sitting there trying to distract themselves, but they can't because they keep thinking of you with someone else. Even when they try to be with someone else, they somehow end up thinking of you being with somebody else. And they're feeling very triggered about the idea that there is somebody that has entertained you. Maybe you were, you know, messaging this person. Maybe they walked away and you didn't let go. And all of a sudden you let go. But there's been some sort of shift and they can feel that. And they feel like it has to be that there's someone else. So someone is, and then for some of you, this is a whole other situation. Now for some of you, you're in a relationship and there's somebody that is very, very jealous of your relationship. Um, this could be an ex of the person that you're with. This could be your ex. This could be somebody that neither of you knows is interested in either of you here. Um, and for some of you, unfortunately, I am seeing this as a friend and the way that my heart felt as soon as that vision came to mind, um, there could definitely be a friend that is very jealous of a relationship that you have, okay? So actually, I kind of want to clarify. I kind of want to clarify, so let's see. And this could even just be somebody that maybe sees if you, you know, post your relationship on social media, this could even just be somebody that sees a post and is like, well, they don't act like that with me. You know what I mean? There's just something about the two of you guys that's very different than how this person was. So clarify jealousy for Gemini. Okay, clarify jealousy for Geminis, please. Who is this person? The Four of Pentacles. This could be somebody that's blocked, somebody that's out in the cold here, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody that's very stubborn and stuck in their ego. The Page of Wands, somebody that wasn't able to offer you. Hmm. See, the thing is, is that this person was playing games when they had the opportunity with you. And now they're sad, but what do they expect for you to just sit around and wait for them? Right? It's like, I don't even... I think this person's jealous, but I don't actually see that them they're actually being able to do anything about it. They're not even in the position to do anything about this. For some of you, what's actually crazy is this person is in a third party situation and they're jealous about the fact that you were letting go and moving forward because they never chose you. But if they didn't choose you, what were you supposed to do? Because there's a lot of different energies that are surrounding this connection here. So this could definitely have been somebody that was juggling two people and is mad that you're doing the same thing, right? I guess you both can't have your cake and eat it too when it comes to this person. The emperor in reverse, this person couldn't make up their mind about what it was that they wanted. This person, I feel like their life is spiraling out of control. This jealousy is consuming them. Um, this person has a very code of the, like a codependency towards you. And I don't think you, I don't think you realize that because I feel like this person is usually so in control they're so in control and now their mind is kind of going crazy. Yeah, expect this person to reach out to you in uh, January throughout this month here because I feel like, oh, this is like, this is like somebody getting mad. Like this person is like, I don't know. I think they can, it's not just what they're picturing. I think it's what they're feeling, right? I think this person thought that you would be around no matter what. I think you might have thought up until recently that you'd be around no matter what, right? Show me more for Gemini for January 2023, please. What else is going on for Gemini's? Self-confidence. Yeah, walking away from this person, you ended up gaining more self-confidence, choice, and now you have choices. Yeah, you have options. You're discovering new things about yourself. 
right? You are victorious in this energy. Walking away from this person for some of you was the best thing that you ever did. Yeah, it really was. Um, because everything that you didn't get from them, you're, you're getting. You're getting now. And if that's not now, then this is something that's coming in for some of you within the next two weeks here. Some of you, there's an Aries of significance, um, or this person could have been an Aries here. A lot of fire signs. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have conquest and freedom. Yeah, this could have been somebody that you were just intimate with, right? And you're freeing yourself from that because you want something more meaningful. Yeah, feelings. You want something more meaningful. You want something deep. So you're surrendering to the fact that, okay, maybe it's not going to be with who you want. Maybe it's not going to happen when you want. But if you surrender and you allow the universe to show you what's good for you, to show you what's in alignment for you, then you can have what you truly want, what you truly desire. So this person is like their suppressed feelings that they had for you. They are, they're kind of exploding. They're surrendering to those feelings now because now the choice isn't up to them. Now the cards aren't in their hands. The cards are in your hands. What is this? Are you serious? Ooh, I don't like this. I feel like, oh, I don't like to say this, but I feel like this is a stalker. This person is too much in your business. And I'm hearing some of you are like, I have them blocked. It does not matter. It does, they're going out of their way to see what you're doing, to see what you're up to, to see if the thoughts that they have are just in their head or if it, there's actual evidence to it. Because for some reason, this sounds like, oh, I really don't like this person. They sound very arrogant. Um, but it's like, you're not even with them, but they feel like you're cheating on them. They're finally feeling, this is karma. This is, this is literally karma. They're finally feeling what you had made them feel the whole time that you were with them. And they can't handle it. And I think now they're seeing things from your perspective. Clarify choice for Gemini, please. Clarify choice for Gemini. The two of cups here. Yeah. You will have a choice between true love ten of swords mm. and somebody that your heart is still connected to but you know isn't right for you your two of cups is right around the corner and some of you again like i said you're already experiencing this here clarify feelings for gemini judgment yeah this person from the past like they're just like i have to give my all or like they know that they have one more chance right but for a lot of you this it's just not even really worth it because I feel like it's like they're gonna change for a little bit and then they're gonna go right back. They're gonna revert right back to their old ways, right? But there is a big shift, very unexpected. Like this person might even show up at your doorstep, okay? Like they are, they're not gonna give you a chance to not respond to what they have to say, especially if they're blocked. Clarify surrender for Gemini, please. Six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, they can't move forward without coming back, without coming back around. They will not be able to. And for some of you, you may do you may need some closure from this person, right? But it's just it's just through the words and the sun. Yeah, they're going to express their truth to you and that they see a life with you. But I think that this new energy that you already have or that's already coming is going to amplify just how negative that this situation was, just how toxic this situation was, just how much this person was like able to put themselves first without really caring or thinking, you know, how you felt. We have the Empress upright. Yeah, the Emperor's in reverse. The Empress is upright. And so you're coming into alignment and getting everything that you're wanting. And I think that for some reason that's triggering this person's life to kind of crumble in front of their eyes. But I feel like when they were getting it, having their cake and eating it too, your life was crumbling before your eyes. And so it's just like it's, it's, it's reverse. 
the scales are balancing out now. Karma is being restored in this energy. And a lot of this usually means that this person is coming in as a test, right? You're getting everything that you want, but at the same time, they're going to come in. And how are you going to respond to that? The universe wants to know. So know that you are being tested throughout the month of January, your commitment to yourself, your commitment to this new person, or your commitment to um, what you truly want and what you truly deserve is going to be tested here. And I see a lot of opportunities and a lot of options when it comes to love and just in general, creative opportunities for you to make more money, right? It's, it's you being so passionate about yourself and your day-to-day -day life that the universe shows you just how passionate others are towards you and just how much opportunities there are for you. You just had to change your perspective a little bit. All right, Gemini, so that is what I have for you. Let me know in the comments how this resonates. And if you guys have any ideas of what kind of spreads you would like to see for the new year, let me know in the description box below as I will be making a list with any ideas and um, allowing my intuition to guide me as to which ones to use. I love you guys so much. Personal readings are in the description box below and I'll see you soon. Take care, my loves.